Actually, I didn't think of writing a book on Helen. Someone from Penguin, Ravi Singh, my editor, asked me who I thought would be able to write a book on Helen. So I said me. And I did it without thinking and I did it without, uh, without analyzing it too much. I just felt that I'd always looked for a way in which I could talk about Hindi cinema, talk about Bollywood actually, and the kind of film that Bollywood represents, without actually talking about Bollywood itself. And Helen seemed to be a great entry point into what Bollywood was because she was she represents in a way everything that Bollywood is. If it's kitsch, she represents kitsch. All her hairstyles were big, all her clothes were extravagant, her makeup was elaborate. If it's emotional, then of course there was a great deal of emotion in Abhinaya and what Helen did. There's a great deal of, of rasa in what she did. If that if Hindi cinema is largely based on Shringara, then there was Helen always always in a mode in the erotic pining mode. So for me, a lot of what Hindi film represented was what Helen represented. And oddly, it, she was completely different as well. I think Amitabh Bachchan says at one point in, in an interview which was done for Golden Girl, Helen Golden Girl, a, a stage show, he said, Pehle to uske naam se akarshit hua karta tha. That her name was different from other names. It was a name that she retained, an English name that she retained, Helen. And that, I think, sort of started, started the process by which she was set apart. But what really set her apart was the longevity of her career. It is unheard of in any mainstream popular cinema for a female actress to work for 30 years without stopping. And for a female actress who was largely a dancer, and that to a, what one might call a, a, an eye candy dancer, what is today called an item number dancer, and in those days was called a cabaret dancer. Yeah, that was is completely unheard of. What you normally have is a is a one year, two year lifespan, and then someone comes along who is willing to bear more, to show more cleavage, to do more vile and obscene, you know, sort of stuff. And here was Helen who is dancing when Prithviraj Kapoor is around in in Harish Chandra Taramati. Then she's dancing when Raj Kapoor is around in Avara. And then she's dancing when Rishi Kapoor is around in, uh, you know, Juta Kahinka. So it's kind of like an uninterrupted 30 years of dancing. And this is not an ordinary feat. It is something very special. And in a way, it is obviously something that could not be replicated. We, the Bollywood is a cruel taskmaster and it is completely without shame about tossing people away. Once your value is over as a star or as a performer, you can go die on the road in general. This did not happen to Helen. She continued dancing till the 1980s. And then within 10 years, suddenly by a feat of complete, I don't know, alchemy, she had changed her persona. She had become everybody's grandmother. She had become this warm, wonderful, loving, you know, sort of know-all, good-hearted good lady, Mariamma in, in Bhansali's uh, Khamoshi or, you know, in, in various films. I think she even played Amitabh Bachchan's, uh, no, Abhishek Bachchan's uh, good-hearted auntie in, in, in a film. So suddenly she would reinvented her per persona and, and from being this sexual challenge, this potent sexual threat, who was always, you know, sort of about to seduce the hero from the from the path of righteousness. Suddenly, she'd become this wonderful, warm, lovely granny. I think the only comparable transformation has happened with Amitabh Bachchan going from being the angry young man to the pitamaha of the nation in in Kaun Baniga Karodpati. That's the only comparable transformation I can think of. Mm -hmm. all about yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots yeah. of people, lots of people when I told them that I was doing about Helen, a book about Helen, sorry. Lots of people when I told them I was doing a book about Helen, their first question would be why? Their second question after you talk for about three minutes would be to tell you how much they had enjoyed Helen and how wonderful it was that, you know, they had memories of this song and that dance and people would start ringing you up and telling you, you know, on, 
on so and so uh, channel Vijaya TV she's dancing in a Malayalam film and you turn it on and there she would be dancing same costume you know like I mean either say slit big feathers on the hair tack 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 big jing chak earrings everything would be the same but she would be dancing in Tamil and met, I remember one of my friends uh, from South India saying Helen was a Hindi film star I thought she only acted in Tamil movies because you know it was a three day in those days you didn't do film songs in the way we do them today which is Hindi cinema takes like two weeks to can one song that time it was like one shift in out shoot dance clean no big tamasha about these things because there weren't so many chayagids, chitrahars, countdowns, music channels there was nothing there were songs were just one part of the movie and it was a three minute part so you did it quickly and you finished it and you moved on you know so I think we all have forgotten what fun Helen can be and much of the fun of this book was you know whenever you get a little tired of researching and trying to find the date in which a film was made or the producer's name for a film or whatever I'd put on a VCD of Helen dance you know Helen compilation of her songs five minutes later you're grinning happily and you're enjoying the film you're enjoying your work again you can go back and with with a song in your ear, ears See, stardom in Hindi cinema means that when your name appears, advance booking hona chahiye. So if Shah Rukh Khan's name appears, then advance booking ho jayega. Helen was never a star like that, in the sense that her name could not sell a film. But she was a star in the sense that a star must appeal both to the to the audiences who are sitting in the in you know in the air conditioned splendor of the balcony and the front benchers who are sitting in a Mofasil town you know where they're sitting with their legs up on the on the on the wooden benches in that sense Helen was a star she could appeal to everybody I have been to really high class weddings where you know young girls have been dancing to Mehbooba Mehbooba still and I have been to places where you know like I don't know Hijiras have been dancing to to one of her songs so it kind of cuts across class caste gender sexuality you name it there's a kind of a uh, role for Helen to play in almost everybody's life uh, her first breakthrough uh, was the song Mera Naam what was the effect of it? Haji, look at Mera Naam Chin Chin Chu now it doesn't look it looks like a sweet school girl hopping about she doesn't look like you she doesn't look like eye candy she doesn't look like someone who who you'd uh, I mean in really what a cabaret does is make you want to lust after that woman right here she's like leaping about like a little school girl in that sweet little frock and you know with with some design design on it it's very sweet and I think from that that's when the model of of Helen is set up that you know this is supposed to be this this you know Ashok Kumar has come to this dark place where his brother might his brother's murder, he might find a clue about his brother's murder and this is the underworld and in the underworld there is this little fountain of light called Helen dancing and you think no this is not underworld this is like a really good fun a good fun moment right but I think that's what really made her such a charmer and I think I'm using the word very with great thought she was a very charming presence and I think that was what was set up in that in that moment Aladdin ki mehu ladki. Whenever anyone sings that, you want to think, yeah, of course you're ladki. I mean, quintessential, distilled, 100% proof ladki. No fooling about ladki.